Hello class, this is section 6.3 and in this video we are going to work through an example using the finite difference method. We have a heat equation in one dimension with a rod of length 2 with homogeneous Dirichlet boundary conditions on both sides and with this initial condition. So our initial condition is that the rod heats up from 0 to about 10 to the middle of the rod and then it becomes 0 again in the middle. So that's the starting temperature profile of the rod. So let's uh, work out an approximation. Um, let's work out the approximation with uh, the delta x equals to 0 0.4, our s equal to 1 half, and let's um, figure out temperature of this rod at x equals 1.2 and at time uh, 2 delta t seconds. Um, even though I did not give you the delta t explicitly here, uh, remember that s is equal to k over delta x squared times delta t. So if you know k what k is, and you normally do in most applications, you can figure out what the delta t is. But for now, we're just going to find the approximate temperature at uh, this position at this time. So this is our approximate heat equation. And um, let's... Remember that we had s equals 1 half, so let's write that down there. And recall again that the u's uh, represent this. UGM is the approximate value of the temperature at xj and tm. So here um, we have x0 equals 0. Our rod goes from 0 to 2, and our delta x size is 0 0.4. 0, 0, x1 is going to be 0 0.4, x2 is equal to 0 0.8, x3 is equal to 1.2, x4 is equal to 1.6, and finally x5 is equal to 2.0. Okay, that's our x values, and our t values, uh, t0 equals 0. We don't know what the delta t is, but that's fine. Delta t, t2 equals 2, delta t, and so on. All right, um, let's draw the mesh. So our mesh looks like this. So these are the x values, x0, 0, x1, 0 0.4, and they are spaced 0 0.4 apart. Um, so let's call this the x-axis. And for the t-axis, we have t0, t1, t2, taking the value 0, delta t, and 2, delta t, respectively. And since our goal is just the approximate temperature at 2, delta t, we can stop right there. And we should fill out the other points of the mesh. Here, 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 here. And our goal is to figure out the temperature at x equals 1.2, t equals 2 delta t. And so the point of interest is 1.2, 2 delta t. So we want to figure out temperature at this point. So let's see um, what our initial conditions are first. So according to our initial conditions here, we have this function ux0, which is 10x from 0 to 1, and uh, 0 from x equals 1 to 2. So let's try it. Let's look, see what, what that looks like in our case. Um, so we need to figure out what happens at u0, 0, 0. So at this point here, time 0, um, that's going to be equal to u of uh, x0 at time 0, which is 0. Um, which is equal to f of x0, which is equal to, um, since we are at between 0 and 1, is equal to 10x. So that's just going to be 10x0, but x0 is just 0, so 10 times 0 equals 0, so u0 is 0. Is zero. Um, we can do that similarly. So u10, so this is the next point, this is going to be equal to f x1 and that's just going to be um, x1 is 0 0.4 and that's going to be 10 times 0 0.4 equals to 4. Similarly we can do u20 is equal to f x2. f x2 is just going to be 0 0.8 that's going over here and that's just going to be equal to 8. Um, u30 However, um, this is just going to be equal to f 1.2, f of x3, 1.2. But remember what our initial condition was. Our initial condition was that we had a function that is 0 from x1 to 2. So since 1.2 is bigger than 1, 
this is just going to be equal to zero. And in fact, all the other bigger ones are. So, um, so f of 1.6 is also equal to zero. f of 2 is also equal to zero. All right, so we have um, all these values for u, and this will consist of our initial conditions. We know what these are, and our goal is to get to the pink dot over there. And how do we do that? Well, let's just start with our pink dot. So according to our equation, um, we want to figure out what is it at um, x equals 1.2, which is equal to uh, x3. So this is x3, and 2 delta 2, which is t2. So we need to figure out what is um, u3, 2. But if we look at our difference equation here, we know that u3, 2 minus u3, 1 is equal to 1 half times u4, 3, u4, 1 minus 2, u3, 1 plus u2, 1. So in other words, um, the pink dot here depends on this, this, and this. So we need u41, u31, and u21. So those three terms give you what u32 are. So we need to figure out what these three green circles are. Now let's start with our u21. So in that case, um, u21 minus u20, according to our difference equation here again. So we're using um, this equation again. So that equals 1 half of u31 minus 2u21 plus u11. Oh, rather, sorry, these are zeros here, not ones. These are zeros. Zero, zero. But we know what these are. Um, so u21 minus u20, but we know what u20 is. It comes from here. u20 is going to be 8. Minus 8 equals 1 half. u30 is going to be equal to 0 um, from over here. We know that if minus 2, u20, you already know is 8. Plus u10, u10 is 4. Okay, plus 4. This is going to be equal. So when you solve for u21, you get u21 equal to 2. Let's go, let's go on to the next one. Um, this is our first entry. We need to figure out, the, that's the first green dot settled, u21. We figured that out. Now we need to figure out the second one, which is u31. u31 minus u30 is equal to 1 half. u40 minus 2, u30 plus u20. And let's see what those are. Um, u30, if we remember correctly, that's 0. So u31 minus 0 equals 1 half. u40 is also 0. So 0 minus 2 times 0. u20 is not 0. Um, u20 is in fact 8. So when we solve for it, we get u31 is equal to 4. So we figured out um, what this thing is. Now we have one more green dot to go, and we're done. So the green dot is um, u41 minus u40 is equal to 1 half. u50 minus 2 u40 plus u30. But you notice that um, u40, u30, and u50, they're all 0. So this is all 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, which implies that u41 is equal to 0. And this implies that for our equation here, um, we really know what u41, u31, and u21 are, and we can plug them in to this equation. Um, u21 is 2, so this is 2, and uh, u31 is 4, so this is 4 and this is 4, and u41 is 0, so this is 0, and when you solve for this, you get that u32 is equal 1, and that is going to be our answer. So our approximate answer here is going to be 1 degree Celsius.